Welcome back to Jenny Leclou. Before we start today, I want to celebrate, for it is a joyous occasion. I have, while well, little to some, reached six subscribers. Now that's not a lot, and I have to disclose that one of them is surely my mother. But to me, it's a very big thing. It means that there is five people and my mother who's interested in what I'm making and want to see the new stuff that I do. That makes me truly happy. And if you're still watching, whoever you are, thank you. It made me very happy. Now, while the celebrations were fantastic fun and so forth, let's move on to the game. Last time, we were on a hunt for the largest cross. And after a little puzzle and a lot of climbing, we found out that it's Helga Cross. Now, we're finding this, uh, the largest cross, to find out where this entrance that we think is it's an entrance, we think it's an entrance where it is. And that's basically where we stopped last time. So let's uh, interact with this object like any good start of a, any good game. <laughs> Interaction. Alga Cross. Oh. Jenny saw nothing particular unique about this grave. Like all the others, the slab was weathered, chipped, and covered in moss. There's another epitaph carved into the base. Here she lies, seven foot three, seven foot three, stung by a bee. That's horribly bad. Okay, there's something we click on here. A small stone pot sat in front of the headstone. A fine layer of soil lined inside. It's a vase. Or a flower. Well, we received a flower from Matt. We said yes. And we have it. A wonderful revelation struck Jenny. As the final piece of the puzzle fell into place. Don't forget to pay your respects. I need to place a flower here. I wonder now if they would have forced the flower upon us had we said no. But so far in this game, they haven't done that a lot. So maybe not. Maybe we would have to go find one. Jenny pulled the grave digger's daisy from her pocket. I knew this would come in handy. Yes, we did. Well, we didn't know, but uh, it was a good guess. And surely there must be magic here. Otherwise, we could have put a moist finger in there and that would have done the same. Ooh, scary. Well, not so scary. I was talking on top of it. Need to stay quiet in these cases. Or maybe not. Hmm, skeleton hand and a parchment or a box. It's hard to tell. <laughs> it needs to be tapped, whatever it is. So uh, nothing new there. Okay, let's see here. Due to seismic activity, entrance four has been temporarily sealed. Oh, relocated. I just like, you know, read whatever I think is going to come. Thank you for your patience while we upgrade our infrastructure. And please watch your step when crossing MGMT. Don't think that's a band. It says the entrance was relocated, but it doesn't say where. Um. Well, okay, I guess there. <laughs> I'd imagine. Well, why would all the screen shaking though? Okay. Well, that looks safe. Yeah. The sarcasm. Why does everything have to be so convoluted? Kind of because you're in a game. Mom will have died of old age by the time I reach her. Okay, that's the first time she's joked around with her mother's death. That's a bit interesting. I think we came from here. 
Anyway, while well, going upwards, like go upwards. This, uh, that's... We need to go up, so why not go the way that's sort of up? I think both ways would have led us to the same place, but, uh... We took this one. Because that's the one we came from. Actually, that should actually... Yeah. We should have taken the other one precisely for that reason. Because we want to find everything. We want to see everything. We want to explore every single little inch of this lovely, lovely game. So yeah. Well, let's assume that we have gotten everything we need here. You should never assume though. But sometimes we'll have to assume. I think that's... That's a thing that I'm sure some detectives assume stuff. You have to assume once in a while and then figure out if your assumption was correct. You can't know everything at at one specific point. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, that's not safe. You could have, you know, like put your hands around it and your legs around it and shimmied across. But this, that's just... Well, actually, if you're so good at it, then it's fine, I guess. But still, it seems like that was a way safer place, a way of doing that. But there's a detour over here. Is that... That feels like it means something to the player and not just the ease of the environment. Okay, let's enter the clearing. Yeah, since we can't do anything, we will leave. Oh, there we go. She nearly went the wrong way, though. Hmm. Hmm. Hello? Oh, no. Did he... Did he... Did he actually... Wow. Okay. Hello? You said if anything strange happened, I should call you. Who is he calling? And okay, I was worried that he was like evil and you know, so forth, but it seems like he's just doing someone a favor or his job. Well, something strange just happened. Oh no. You, you promised us not to tell anyone. I'm pretty sure you promised us not to tell anyone. How could you do that? He's looking at us all the time. Still strange, it was so lit up where he was. And it's very lit up here too. I don't remember the uh, lamp he had, had that much light in it. Okay, look, look at conspicuous tomb. We will. This is the only tomb here. And with no epitaph. This has to be it. Well, not for those reasons. Let's see here. Oh, oh yeah, good. <laughs> That's why you should always run further than you think. Okay, because you might find a sticker or some scrap paper. And who wouldn't want any of those? Look behind stone. There we go. Another part of the puzzle. And uh, inspect mysterious object. This is clearly Caesar technology. It is part of another Caesar spear, is it? Oh, okay. That, that was literally all. Okay, but at least we found it. They will likely be important later. Oh. So, this is a star sign. When did doors go out of fashion? Yeah, we haven't made a lot of them. Is this the entrance? There must be some way to open it. Yeah, there is. Uh, there are some pieces that needs to be in place. I can see that the, the bottom one of his bow needs to be in his quiver. So it's like, um, you have to move the things into the right places, but the things will kind of be in the way of the other things that needs to be in the right places. So it's that kind of puzzle. Uh, if, yeah. But most importantly, Oh, wait, you're not hiding here. It's it's a grumpy cat kind of sticker. Nice. I like it. Oh, soon exit. There we go. So, yeah, okay. So let's see. You 
Yeah, there we go. No? Oh, okay. So that's locked in place. Um, okay, can we do something to you? Yeah, we can, but uh, you're in the way. Let's see here. You... You go down here. Good. And you... You go down here. No, okay, yeah. Not that far. Silly thing. There we go. And down. Down. Thank you. Good. Okay, this must be really fun to watch, but it should be very easy to solve. So up here, down there, and down there. Good. Now uh, we can get this one in place. Is that the one that has nothing? It won't be in the way of the other ones. When we put it up in the quiver, it's just stay there. There we go. Okay, so that was easy. Now let's see, we have the stripy ones here. I assume, yeah, they go down in his shoes. And his sh shoes. Uh, let's see here, what can we do? Both of those are shoes. But what is the last one? Is it his belt? What's this one? Yeah, those two. What is that one? It's not his face. Oh, it must be this. Oh, yeah, it needs to go up here. Okay, that's fine. So, um, let's make sure which one goes where. It needs a bottom one. There's no bottom one. That's confusing. Okay, we need to figure out what goes here because that will be the easiest one to go with first. So the stripes go that way. Well, it can only be this one. Good. Let's see. Uh, we can move some of the things out of the way then. Oh, it's it's a slow puzzle, but it's not going to be very difficult. There we go. And the last one. There we go. Okay, at least it moves very fast. Good. And then we can take this one and put down there. That's correct. Super. Now, we need them to cross paths. We need to, them to actually change places, these two. And that's going to be a bit harder than the other ones. But first, we'll put this one up here. So that's not in the way. This one is in the way. So we'll put it down here oh too far okay that's good too and then this one we'll also put away there we go so hmm do we have a spaces enough for this it seems like one of them is because right now they will collide and nothing will be solved. Am I missing a spot where we could put something? Mm -mm. Don't feel like I am. Oh, okay. It's easy. Yeah. Okay. We'll just do like this. We'll just put this here. Well, I'm saying it's easy. I haven't done it yet, so I'm not sure it actually is. But I'm thinking it's something like that. Is then we can put... No. Yeah, I thought... Yeah, okay, yeah, good. Okay, we can do like that. And then take this one. Because then we can get that one in place and we only have one to move around. I just needed them to switch places. There we go. Good. And then you can go up again. And you can go up again. And now you can stay right there, actually. If you like. Good. And I think we're done. Nice. Okay, that wasn't as, fa as bad as I thought it would be. Coffee break.
Hmm. Oh yeah. Okay. That is certainly mysterious looking. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. We don't have any, um, we can't do anything. Jenny peered into the Omnia's void. A jagged path carved into the earth, plunging deep beneath the rotting soil. How far down did it go? There was only one way to find out. I am not sure I want to. <sighs> I know how you feel. It's a tiny bit scary. Gathering her courage, she stepped forward into the distant bowels of Arthurton. But then... Oh, okay. This is the opposite of what we normally get. Aha, uh -huh, I said. She stepped forward into the dist distant bowels of Arthurton. Oh, okay. We get to control that ourselves and they put her in slow-mo. Oh. What's with her falling all the time? It's dark down there, yeah, and your flashlight isn't super great, so... Fun... incoming. Yeah, I knew that would happen. They really liked it, like, jump scares suddenly. So, this probably has something to do with Matt. Matt called someone, someone's coming, and... Sweet Susie is telling us about it. Jenny, come in, Jenny. Where are you? Have you found your mom yet? Give me a second, please. I need a moment before I walk down this pitch black staircase into the terrifying abyss. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Jenny. Don't be sorry, sweetie. It's okay. Jenny stared into the darkness. She could almost hear her mother's voice calling. Oh, is it actually going to be calling? Oh, no, good. A great detective perseveres, no matter the obstacle. And so, she took one deep breath, pushed up the thick frame of her glasses, and crossed the threshold. Oh, we did it. Oh, it's, I love the, uh, like, the art style of this game is just gorgeous. Mm. So there's a lot of spiderweb here. That's a good indication of something being old or never used. We can't see if there's dust that would tell us that it hadn't been used for a long time or for quite a while. Um, so we can see that at some point it's been left for a long time. But these cobwebs could be... <sighs> Could have been connected and, and, and fresh at some point and they aren't anymore so someone could have disturbed them. Meaning we might not be the first here. But also that could just be a style thing. Who knows. Oh, she looks so unhappy. I'm sorry. It's going to be okay. Another door. Locked. I presume. Whoever built all this certainly wanted to keep it a secret. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we are going to do the tapping. There we go. This should be like a tap simulator. Okay, there we go. Learn how to tap without making too much noise. That's what we're going for. We're really good at that. Oh, don't open it like that. Don't. Okay, good. It was just a cutscene. Oh, we're back here. Jenny was ahead of the man in black. We don't know. We don't know that. For now, there was still the matter of breaking her mom out of jail and escaping without being caught. Being careful not to make a sound, Jimmy's, Jenny stepped cautiously into the dark space below. We have no way of knowing that this actually leads to the jail. I don't think it does. I think it leads to the observatorium. That might just be a word I just made up, but we all know what I'm talking about. We'll see. There's only one way to find out, and it's forward. So, uh, there's a, uh, out -ome. 
automat. An automat? <laughs> Mr. ES? Or Meris? Mer Mer I don't know how to say that. Let's first go the wrong way. It's always most fun to go the wrong way first. Though it's awfully dark, we can't find something. Okay, Jenny, if you find something in this darkness, I am actually pretty impressed. There we go. I uh, call me impressed. Okay, I cannot move further that way. Let's go back again. There's a door here. Not interactable, so we'll, we'll go back to that possibly when we've uh, put some light on this situation. Thank you. Thank you. See something. See nothing. Stay alive. Okay, this is kind of the same attitude that we read that um, people apparently had in this company that built the spears. Like, it was like, um, just, just, just do your work kind of thing. It doesn't matter. Try to stay alive if you can kind of thing. This isn't a tunnel. It's like a creepier version of Benderson's office. Less natural light, same terrible music. There's music here? I guess so. Okay. Oh, we can't interact with it, but we can go back. No? Oh, come on. That door is just beckoning me. Uh, okay. See something. Say nothing. Stay alive. Oh, and that door. Hmm, it's blast proof. A giant metal door stood conspicu conspicuously in the middle of the room. I don't think a door stands. I think it just is. Hmm. But I don't know. It must lead to the jail. I don't think anymore. There is any chance that we are going to the jail, sweet Jenny. Like, we're going somewhere else. And I think a perfectly reasonable, reasonable assumption, meaning, yeah, you're wrong. There was just one problem. How do I open it? Well, we've seen those puzzles before, so I think we'll just deal with the puzzle, really. Nothing this way. Okay, there was, I, I would imagine there were a lot of interesting things in this place, but, oh, there's a lot of clues. Jenny knocked on the door. So the council of three, look at that symbol. It's three tri triangly things that are sort of connected into a symbol that looks like mountains. Um... Could also be something with to do with the miners. Oh, nice, nice knocking based on the resonance and the fact that my hand hurts like hell. <laughs> I'd say this door is solid steel and at least four inches thick. I don't think you could make that sound. No handle and no keyhole. Whoever built this door wanted to keep people out or or in, depending on which side you're on. Exactly. I I like when we start thinking the same way. Okay, so let's see here. Yeah, I thought so. Blast proof. So, the explosives are useless. Yeah, I'm sure we'll use them for uh, that hole we saw. Ooh. Another animal. This one's a fox. Could this have been something... Uh, could this have something to do with Professor, Professor Caesar's experiments? Or the Council of Three? I think very much yes. Oh, the music is terrible. I do agree. Is there another one over here? There's one here and there's one there. And there's a blast proof again. Uh, Remini. I don't know where the last uh, thing we were. Oh, there was a. That was like a switch over here. We'll go for the switch. I saw a switch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Uh, yeah, it needs a uh, a card in there, it seems like it. I don't know how to pick this. It's some kind of slot. Is something missing? And it came to a distressing yet inevitable conclusion. I can't open it. 
I'm stuck. Of course, there's a giant metal door that's impossible to open. Why wouldn't there be? It would be easy to feel defeated. But this was Jenny LeClue, a great detective. And as her mother always said, a great detective sees every locked door as an opportunity. Yes, an opportunity for an elaborate puzzle and lateral thinking. <laughs> the case of the giant metal door. So I think, um, I think that last sentence was meant for the player, for the gamer. For us. Oh, we can play with the water. No, we can just make it say a sound. Search desk. And let's find it. Okay, we can search a lot of things. We'll just start somewhere. Someone works here, or at least they did. Judging by the dead plant and dusty typewriter, no one's been here for a while. Yeah, but the plants don't look that dead, like a month or so. Search trash can. The detective running through trash was like opening a treasure chest. Just with more gum and cigarette butts. Gross. Oh, we tap it. My initial assessment looks like a lot of trash. Oh, hold that. Junk, 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 junk. But what about the last one? A rotten sand sandwich, napkins, belly button lint. Belly button lint. You throw that on our floor, not in the trash can. Come on. Wait a second. There's a note here that's been torn up. Could be a clue. Take that note oh but don't don't make us do this again uh let's see here we turn it around quirky corp so yeah all of the different um things we found ha ha had to do with animals come on i know you go there and uh quirky corp could uh be a like a um a group within within the organization i don't know possibly man's best vent no, actually uh ven means friend in uh in my language so that's a bit weird but that's probably not what it has to do anything to do with come on very thickly dear Trudy, sorry to hear that you're having more trouble with the machine. Someone will be out to look at it on Monday. Sincerely, John J. Exor. It's from the office of John J. Exor, CEO from Quirky Corp Inc. LLC. Uh, too easy. They should have used a shredder. They should have. Let's flip it. In the meantime, use this. Oh, please don't pass this around. John. Seems like we have to find... Well, just click on them. I know see your code when I see one. This could be very useful. Mm-hmm. I do agree. So there's these cabinets as well. We have to tap them as well. Oh, I like a little animation here. So tabbing doesn't seem as silly. Oh, case file 113 SL confidential. Oh. What? Wait, what? Let's go into a journal. Oh, there's so many things here. Uh Okay, so there's a lot of information actually here. A giant metal door. Where's the key? Okay. I guess the uh Hmm. We can enter like this. I don't know. No, we can add things. Okay. I don't necessarily think that was important yet. Maybe it will become more important later or maybe it's a bug. I really hope it's not a bug. Let's have some water. Great. Water is very important. Remember to drink water and let's tap again. Maybe we need... Okay, we didn't find anything here. That's worrying me because that might mean that it was really a bug. Okay, search here. Oh, come on. There we go. 
what are we gonna find? It was always a good idea to put your hand between the crusty crevices of sofa cushions. All kinds of exotic things could be found. What's this? Ah, nice. Yeah. Well, it really depends on where you do it. Like, I would really be careful about doing it in such a place. Let's go back here first. And open this door. <laughs> Look at the mob. It's a dirty old mob. Look at the mob. Oh. This is the first time we've been able to look at something twice and it said the same thing. Obviously in game language that means we need it for something but not yet. So um, stay there mob, we'll, we'll come for you. Okay, vending machine. Detective detectiving was hungry work and Jenny couldn't remember last time she'd eaten anything. No, nope, me neither. I don't think we've eaten anything yet. What I really want is hot coffee. I think we had coffee though. Or we spoke about having, I don't know. So she perused the selection on offer. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, there's some, oh, here we go. That's what we need. Okay, I have to go out. I can't remember it. Nope, not like that. So, okay. That's easy. There we go. Let's go in here. So B. Jenny needed to decide what delicious treat she want, was going to ha uh, buy first. Oh. Oh, we know. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's buy the key. The key opened the door to yum. These candy names are getting ridiculous. We're having it. Come on. Um. How does this work? Can we, can we, have we decided? No, we haven't. Uh, okay, B31. But that's what I'm trying to click. Oh, sticker. Okay, let's try to look at all of them and then maybe. So we have Kiss of Death. Well, at least they're honest. Yeah. I actually, I remember something about like, um, a ad for cigarettes so it's like for the lonely man who walks alone or something like that and like really building up this image of like but apparently it sold so badly because it, it was just too far they took it too far this image of you know lone ranger and people are like no no that's sad that's sad let's be together about this bad thing okay now it 50% more arsenic. Who buys these things? Yeah, you wonder. We wonder. I'm a non smoker, which is quite obvious. Uh, actually, my sister just stopped smoking. You, that poor thing. The thing she's going through. Like, that's painful, I think. I, well, so she says. I don't smoke and I'm not planning to start now. Nope, that's okay. So there's. Uh, we clicked on all of that. So we have a bunch of knots. The, no, oh, well, she'll read it aloud. Bunch of knots. Gross. I hate peanut. Jenny, we were such a good match. Except for you being way younger. But all, like, if, you, if you'd been an appropriate age, we could really have been good friends. Because, you know, you're great. A little temperamental, but... You, you, yeah. But peanut butter not liking peanut butter that no can't forgive you for that peanut butter is good there's got to be something better than this okay we're actually buying something that seems weird big crunch fight hunger with a punch i've had one of these before tastes like cardboard oh um okay oh what kind of vending machine doesn't serve coffee a lot of them don't do that Jenny found it hard to focus without her unusual evening brew. Perhaps a nice bar of chocolate would... Uh, nope, this is a waste of time. How could a chocolate bar going to help me open that door? And that's when it hit her. Seriously, the key opened the door to yum. Surely a humorous but irrelevant tagline. It's the perfect shape to fit the slot in the door. 
a mere coincidence, but maybe it doesn't matter. It's literally a key to the door. It'd be rather strange to place a strange place to hide a key. Stranger than waiting a waiting room be beneath the graveyard. And uh, that's my ticket out there. B31. Got it. So first B31. And then this, this, and this service. Oh, okay. So B. Why does it say A now? B. Oh, they're switched around, huh? Okay, wait. What? Okay, let's see here. That's five. We need that's one. We need that, and that's four. So let's make an educated guess. We need this. We need three. No, that wasn't three. Sadness. There we go. B31. There we go. Got it. Hmm. And it's stuck. Typical. Stupid machine. Give me the key. <laughs> it's no good. It's stuck. How can I get the key out? Uh, clues found. Okay, we have to uh, search for clues. Coins only, I think. Yeah, okay. It's leaning forward against the glass. Break the glass. Oh, that's not the clue? Okay. Uh, wow, it's, there's so much light there. Uh, let's see here. Is there a scratch somewhere? No, not that I... Oh. But maybe down here. Maybe. Aha. Uh -huh. That's why it's stuck. Okay. How strong are we? Let's see here. Yeah. Short leg. Stuck on glass. The machine has one short leg. Making the lead forward and to the right. Tilt the machine. Get candy. Key. Candy key. If I tilt the machine to the left, I should be able to get the key out. I think you're right. But Jenny wasn't strong enough to lift the mending machine by herself. I'm going to need some leverage. The mop! Yeah, look at mop, of course. I can use the mop to tilt the machine. There we go. We knew that. A little bit of legwork, and I'll have that key out in no time. A little bit of tapping, you mean. Just a little bit more. Oh, she's gonna tilt it over and it's gonna make a lot of sound and that might not be good. Oh, what's one of those that you have to? Yay! Be careful. I did it. Yeah, I was. Yeah. Oh, what is going on? There's a hole. And there's a lot of sound. And even more sound. Oh, crap. It's a chocolate bar. It's just chocolate? Of course, it came from a vending machine. But I thought, why would anyone hide the key to a giant metal door inside of a candy bar? Actually, not a thing about it. It does sound pretty ridiculous. But it doesn't matter now. But, necessi but necessity was the mother of invention. Jenny had failed to open the mysterious door. But thanks to her ingenuity, she had created her own way through. Well, we don't know if it goes to the same place, but uh, we can hope. She peered inside the hall. It was just wide enough for her to squeeze through. Oh, oh we're in behind. First go the wrong way. Very good. Well, look what we have here. Jenny shone her flashlight on a damaged section of the brick wall. I can see through to the other side. That path ahead was dark and foreboding, but Jenny was too excited to be afraid. And so, without hesitation, no, 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 don't do that to me. I want to have the choice. I'm not ready. I want to go the other way now. Yeah, no, too late. If we miss something here, well, it's just a big old shame.
There we go. Can we crawl backwards? No, we cannot. Okay. Oh. I think this would be really scary, no matter how excited you are. There's not a lot of space here. What if you get stuck? What if you get trapped? It's scary. Hmm. But it's opening up. There's more light here. Are we outside? No, we're not. We're in a cavern. In a cave. Ah. Tunnel 12. Stay out. Stay alive. Let's examine it. Yeah. Glatz Mining Corp. Just another friendly message. Warning of my impending doom. Glatz Mining Corp. Jenny! Yes! Don't do that. Sorry, I just wanted to make sure you're okay. The walkie-talkies are for emergencies only, not chit-chat. I'm about to enter the abandoned mines. I can't have you distracting me. An abandoned mine? Be careful, Jenny. Those tunnels are dangerous. Um, yeah, I, I do agree with Susie. This is a case of a lifetime. Of course it's dangerous. But you'll get lost. Those tunnels run underneath the entire town. Exactly. One of them must lead to the jail. You're right. I bet I can find it on the map. What are you talking about? What map? <laughs> In my granddad's journal, he was a great cartographer. Uh, cartographer. <laughs> and mapped out all of these tunnels. And you've had this with you the whole entire time. I always keep it with me. It makes me feel so close to him. Convenient. Why didn't you tell me about this before? I didn't know you were gonna, gonna end up in the mines. It makes sense. Fine. I'm in tunnel 12. See if you can find it on the map. Okay. I'm on it, Jenny. The barricade was old and rotten. Shouldn't be hard to remove if I find a weak spot. I think there's a weak spot up here. No? Okay, we'll just click on, uh, on a green bed. Okay, that's good. Weak spot. There we go, that's one. Weak spot. That's two. Weak spot. That's three. Mm. Oh, okay. This one is blocking the other ones. Weak spot. Yay. Weak spot. Oh, man. Lastly, weak spot. Oh, it's dark. Hmm. Okay, we're now in the tunnels. And um, this is where we stop for today. It's a lot of fun. I hope you're having just as much fun as I am. If you like the videos, please leave a like. It means a lot. It shows me that you like what I'm doing. If you dislike it, Please leave a comment, tell me why, I might listen. And lastly, if you feel like it, if you feel crazy, go and subscribe. Makes me very happy. <laughs> That's it for today. Goodbye and take care.